Hello everyone, a slightly different start for you today. I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek of my craft room. So that's where I record, that's where all the work gets done. Um, it's looking really busy and cluttered and I'm in the process of trying to declutter um, and just clear out some of the things that I just don't use anymore. There's Louis's cat flap, that's how he comes in and out. I've got crates everywhere. I've got loads of um, shelf storage. Let me just stand back so that you can um, see. So that's my storage system. Far left is all of my beading supplies, my Daphne's diary um, and flow magazines. And just look who's here. Um, a sneak peek of Toby, the sausage dog. I'll show him um, a bit later. But yeah, that's it um, behind the door there. I've got more storage, another crate with um, some of my napkins in, which needs a desperate um, sort out. Yeah. Over in this corner here, I've got more tubs with painty papers and all of my laces and trims and that kind of kind of thing um, but I'm just running out of space. I've also got this shelf unit here behind my door. On the floor is all of my Your Creative Studio ephemera, I've got tools, um, wax supplies, all of that kind of thing. And that purple tub that you can see there has got all of my stencils in it. It's also got gift wrap, um, Amazon packaging and recycled stuff as well but you can see that you know I really do need a good decluttering and tidy up and so I'm slowly working my way through it. So I plan to share my decluttering as the weeks go by and hopefully we'll restore this wonderful room to some kind of order. Oh, let me introduce you to Toby. This is Alex's dog. Alex is my son and this is his sausage dog called Toby. Just look how gorgeous he is. I'm puppy sitting again this weekend, so I thought I'd give you a formal introduction. Oh, there he goes. He's off. Onto the other sofa now. What are you doing, Tobes? He's wondering what on earth I'm up to. But <laughs> just look how gorgeous. Hey, baby. We love you, don't we? Yes, we do. Ooh. Um, it's a bit of a learning curve with him and Louis. Um, they don't fight, they don't hiss and bark at one another, but they're not best of uh, pals as yet. There's his crate, which any of you that follow me on Facebook will have seen pictures of Louis inside. I think I'll slot one in so that you can see. But there he is. hope you enjoyed meeting Toby but let's do some art. I want to do something with my acrylic um, paint markers. These are the set that I got from Artex. I'm going to be using some feathers. I've got a whole heap of them. I got them in a pack that I ordered, oh my goodness me, five, six, seven years ago. And I'm pretty sure that it was Gina Ahrens that started this craze off. Um, going back a few years ago, everybody was painting feathers. Um, some people were making them out of paper. I remember Betsy Doodle um, making some fabric and paper ones. But I want to paint mine using the Artex acrylic paint marker. I saw somebody paint a feather using the Artex markers before Christmas and I have searched and searched and searched for the video and I can't find it um, anywhere. But um, so this idea is not my own. Um, I have stolen it from, from somebody else. And if anybody knows who it was that posted that video using the Artex markers, um, please do let me know. But what I want to do is just paint my feather using um, the markers. I've picked out some um, various shades of purple. So I've got dark purple, as you can see, and then lavenders and lilacs, and then going into the, the grey tones. So I'm just going to gradually work my way up my, my feather. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the spine of the feather, feather yet, so I'm just going to leave that for the time being. But just adding my marker like this and when Gina did it she did it with acrylic acrylic paints if I can find the link to Gina's video I'll leave it in the video description box so that you can go and take a take a look but it was um, a bit of a craze at the time <coughs> excuse me I've got um, a croaky croaky voice 
So next I'm going to add some lavender. I'm going to overlap as well. Trying to use the flat of the pen just so that I get greater, greater coverage. And I'm just going to work my way through through these colours, overlapping them, as you can see. And let's see if we can end up with a really pretty embellishment. And I would like to use these as embellishments for, for my journals. Might as well finish, finish that off. Come in with the purple grey here. Make sure you get to the um, tips of the feather as well. Aren't those colours pretty? And I'm going to add some of the darker grey as well, which is more of a, a bluey grey. These colours look really nice together, don't they? Use some of that um, on the tip, I think, all the way, all the way down. And in fact, I think I'll use this colour as well to colour, colour the spine. I'm just going to use one of my lighter colours just to touch in the areas that that I've missed close to the spine, just to tidy, tidy my feather, feather up. Just like, like this. left this to dry for a little while and that's what it looks like now on the back now that um, I've painted it and I want to add some of the gold as well just to add a few few highlights I'm just using the flat of the pen because I don't want too much this Artex gold is gorgeous I really like these pens I think they're so easy to use very very versatile so we'll add a touch of gold as well, just to give it some opulence. And then I think I'm going to splatter with, with some white. Let's off with, let's just try adding a few white dots. This might not work, I don't know, but, but let's see. Just trying to add some interesting colours through this. Oh, you see the white adds so much. That's so pretty. I've wanted to try this for so long and it wasn't until I was clearing out um, some of my drawers because, um, you know, as you know, I'm going through this major craft room overhaul and I found my feathers and I thought, oh, I must do something with those. You know, if I'm not going to use stuff, then I'm going to donate it um, just because I'm fed up of um, having stuff cluttering up my craft room that, you know, I'm perhaps not going to to use that just looks so pretty. I hope you can pick up um, the detail. I think I'm going to mix up some white gouache and splatter, splatter that now. Let's try this. I've got some of the Dr. PH Martins Bleed Proof White. Couldn't find my gouache. And this is quite thick. I'm just going to use my stamping platform. Let's use the smooth side. Put the lid back on. I've also got some water here as well, just to thin it, thin it out. And then I can grab a bone folder or something. Here we go. Here's my here, here's my bone folder, and I'm just going to add some some splatters. Oh, that looks so pretty! Just look at look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. So I'm just going to set that off to one side now for the paint to dry. And let's try a different one in a different um, colourway. 
don't overdo it Nina you know what I'm like once I start adding splatters I can't bring myself to stop <laughs> I love that that's gorgeous let me just take that uh, grotty paper away and show you what that um, that looks like. Made a couple more. Um, that's the first one I did, and I've decided to uh, display it on a black background because I think it picks up the detail better. You can see the gold. Um, this one here was um, a dark midnight blue, and then various shades of peacock green going into a lighter blue. Um, this one here was various shades of peaches and pinks. That's really pretty as well. Now I've got no idea what I'm going to do with these as yet i want to turn them into some kind of um, art journal page um, but haven't got time to do it today because i want to go and take toby off um, for a walk but you know i just think that's a really fun idea and if you don't have feathers real feathers that you can use um, you can make these out of paper and fabric um, let me just bring in these these were a couple of feathers that betsy doodle made me um, and these are just made Made out of paper. I'll try and find the link to Dee's video. Um, I think she's done them with fabric as well but you can certainly do them that way and this is just two pieces of paper glued together with some wire down the spine and then painted and you can see that she's added seed beads on this one here and glitter on this one here but they're just really fun embellishments to use in your journals. Now I'm sharing this video for the Facebook group the Mixed Media Emporium and it's week five of January and during a five week month on week five it's always a wild card prompt meaning that you can create and share anything you like um, so this was just um, my idea you can either do feathers if you want to do something like I've done or you know create something entirely different it is entirely up to you and for anybody that wants to follow along with our prompts I'll leave the link to the Facebook group the Mixed Media Emporium in the description box below but if you've enjoyed today's video and meeting Tony Toby, the little miniature dachshund. As always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.